Hey everybody, this is Mr. Math Blog, and this lesson is Practicing Addition Facts. And don't forget, all your awesome lessons can be found at uh, www.mrmathblog.com. If we go to that site, it will look like this, and we pick the second grade site. And as I keep going along, I'm going to try and continue to uh, build some lessons. So this is what's going to go right here. So I'm going to post it right there as soon as I get done with this. Here we go. Here's our common core strand for our, our most awesome teachers. And our question here is, what are some ways to remember sums? Okay, sums means addition. Okay, so uh, draw a picture to show the problem. Okay, here's the first one. On Monday, Ted recycled three cans and six bottles. How many of the containers did he recycle? On Tuesday, he Ted recycled six cans and three bottles. How many containers did he recycle? Okay, so here's Monday. Now you can do uh, X's and O's. You can do three X's and six O's if you want. I just I got some pictures of some soda cans and some soda bottles. I guess doesn't have to be soda, but whatever. Here's the three cans and six bottles right there. Now notice, you guys, there are three here, three here, three here. That adds up to nine. Okay, on Tuesday he did six cans. So we're going to have six of these cans and just three of these bottles right there. So there that is, and that also is that also is three plus three plus three, which equals nine right there. So uh, Tony recycled nine containers on both days. Okay, on both Monday and Tuesday. So here, explain how the two problems are alike and explain how they're different. Okay, so here they are right here. So they're alike because they both have three groups of three. Or Monday was three plus six and Tuesday was six plus three, but we got the same sum, which was nine. Okay, and then uh, they're different because one has uh, three cans and six bottles, and then it goes down here, and the other has six cans and three bottles. Okay, so they, the important part of this lesson is three plus six. It doesn't matter if we reverse them and make it six plus three. They both equal nine. Now, in, later on in math, when you guys get in, in middle school and high school, that's called the commutative property. So like when I drive to work, I commute in my truck. Well, this 3 and 6 commuted over the addition thing. So it became 6 and 3. So it's called the commutative property of addition. Okay, all right. So there's some ways to remember facts. So we can count on 1, 2, or 3. 6 plus 1 equals 7. 6 plus 2 is 1 more than 6 plus 1, which is 8. And then 6 plus 3 is 6 plus um, uh, 2 plus 1, which is 9 right there. Okay, so changing the order of the add-ins does not change the sum. So 2 plus 6 is going to be the same as 6 plus 2, and they're both 8 right there, okay? So just some tricks on how to add. So let's write the sums here, okay? So 2 plus 2, well, that equals 4. Those are doubles from our last lesson. And 2 plus 3 is one more than that, so 5. Okay, 5 plus 0, well, anything plus 0 is just a number, and then 2 plus 0 is also just 2. Okay, now 3 plus 8 and 8 plus 3, these are the same. So it's called the commutative property. The 3 moved over here and the 8 moved over here, so it's the same. I always like starting with the bigger number, 8, and then, I don't know, I've always counted 3s with these little sticks right here. There's 3 sticks, 1, 2, 3, so this is 8, 9, 10, 11. So those both are 11 right there. <clears throat> 4 plus 4 equals 8, and then 4 plus 3 is going to be 1 less than 4 plus 4, so 1 less than 8 is 7. Okay, 5 plus 7, 7 plus 5, those are the same. So think of 5 plus 5 is, is 10, so 5 plus 7 is going to be 2 more than, because 7 is 2 more than 5 plus 5. Okay, so 2 more than 10 is going to get us 12 on both of those, okay? 7 plus 7 is 14. 7 plus 8, this is one more than 7 plus 7, so that's 15. Okay, 3 plus 7, okay, let's do this one. 7, 8, 9, 10. So these both are, are 10, okay? 9 plus 3, 3 plus 9. 9, 10, 11, 12. So those are both 12, okay? 6 plus 6 is 12. Remember, counting doubles from the last lesson. 6 plus 5 is going to be 1 less than 6 plus 6, so it's going to be 11 right there. All right? Okay, and then I found this. So find the add-ins. The add-ins are just uh, the numbers that are being added together. So find the sum. 
for each shaded box in the addition table. Write the facts for the shaded boxes. Okay. <clears throat> So this one says, look at the blue box, okay? The blue box is 3 plus 1, okay? So we're going to put that right here, 3 plus 1, 3 plus 1 equals 4, okay? This one, uh, I don't know what color that is. I think it's called salmon, okay? So that's this box right here. So this is 2, 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1 is 3, okay? Now let's look at the green box, okay? This is 3 plus 2. Okay, 3 plus 2 is going to be one more than 3 plus 1, so that's 5. Okay, finally the purple, 0 plus 3, 0 plus 3 is 3. All right, you guys, hope that makes sense, and be good to your great teacher. Take care.